In this video, we're going to solve a problem which appeared in J May 2020. So let's understand the problem statement first. Here, fx is a polynomial of degree 3. So it's a cubic polynomial. Such that if k is my equal to minus 2 by k for k equal to 2, 3, 4, 5. And we need to find out the value of 52 minus 10 f10. So therefore, we need to find out the f10 value. And then the remaining is straightforward. So let's go ahead and proceed to see how we approach to the problem. It's a very tricky problem. Let's go ahead and solve this. So first we consider the polynomial fx. Now fx is a polynomial of degree 3. It is given and also it is given if k minus 2 by k is equal, right? That is given for some specific k. So therefore, we can say that, right? That if 2 will be equal to 2 by 2, right? That's it. We just substitute k equal to 2 only. And similarly, right, if 3 is minus 2 by 3, if 4 is minus 2 by 4, and if 5 is minus 2 by 5. So now if we take everything in the one side and multiply by the, by the similar way, right? So therefore, we can say that, right? That 2, f2 plus 2 equal to 0, 3, f3 plus 2 equal to 0, and so on for the other cases. Now, why we do so? So to interpret this, we consider or construct a polynomial gx. It's a new polynomial. Such that, right, gx is equal to x into fx plus 2. Now observe that, right? fx is a polynomial of degree 3 and we multiplied by x. So therefore, x fx is became a polynomial of degree 4 and hence gx is a polynomial of degree 4. So therefore, it's obvious that gx is a polynomial of degree 4 and it's have 4 roots, 2, 3, 4, 5. Why? Because see that g2 is equal to 2 f2 plus 2 and which is equal to 0. g3 is 3 into f3 plus 2 equal to 0 and so on. So therefore, it is obvious that, right, that gx has roots at 2, 3, 4, 5. So therefore, we can construct the polynomial, right, whose roots are known. So therefore, we can say that gx is equal to lambda times x minus 2 multiplied by x minus 3, x minus 4, x minus 5 and so on. And here, lambda is a real number. That's it. Let's go ahead and proceed now. Now, we just put uh, uh, x is equal to 0, right, to find out the value of lambda. So if we put x equal to 0, so therefore we can say that c0 is equal to lambda into 0 minus 2, 0 minus 3, and so on and so forth. So therefore, we can say that 2 is equal to 120 lambda, hence lambda equal to 1 by 60, and thus the polynomial gx we obtain, right? So that's it. Now, as gx is obtained, or in the other sense, we can find out that if we substitute some uh, suitable values of x, we can find that a value as well, right? That's it. Let's go ahead. To, as we need to find out the f10 value, so we put x is equal to 10. So if we put x is equal to 10, we obtain that g10 is equal to 10 f10 plus 2 is equal to uh, whatever we get that uh, x, we just replace by uh, 10, okay? That's it. Now our job is to calculate that. So therefore, 10 f10 plus 2 is equal to uh, uh, 28. And then uh, 10 f10 is equal to 26. So therefore, 52 minus the remaining thing is equal to 26. So the remaining steps is very straightforward, just substituting and getting that. So here, the trick is that from the equation fk minus 2k, we have to think that we have to construct a polynomial gx, which is in the form of x fx plus 2. So if you're able to construct and if you're able to think in that way, the problem is very straightforward. That's it. Hope you understood the problem. Thank you.